Hey everybody, Bill again. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm going to make a little video here about installing an intake air temperature sensor or IAT. Um, the Holly Terminator uses the intake air temp as a reference signal for what's going on. So, I bought an intake air temp sensor and I found a grommet that is about the right size for it. So, I'm going to start rolling and see if I can't get this thing installed. This is one of the wiring points on the Terminator that needs to be hooked up. So, here's what I got. Got online, ordered this little thing. It's just an intake air temp IAT sensor it's just a little two wire i don't know if you can see that in there little two wire sensor i found a grommet that fits nice and snug around it so i'll take that and this thing will sit right in there inside of that grommet and where it's gonna go is right over here right behind my air cleaner and so I made a little dot right there with a marker and that's about where it has to go. That's the intake air just coming through my air cleaner from uh, out in front of the radiator shroud and it's coming in and going into your turbo. And this is where the start of your cold side air comes from. So like I said, I made a dot right there just to get me in the neighborhood, but that's where the IAT is going to go. So, once I get it in, I can, you know, take, take this and maybe clock it this way or clock it this way. Or I'll have to see once I get my wiring harness. I'm going to run my wiring harness, the main harness, right down the middle. from the. It's going to come up from the back and I'm going right, to run it right down the middle underneath the uh, intake manifold. And so some of my wires are going to come out right here. Anything that goes to the front. So, um, my injector wires will be on the inside and my coil wires, I just ordered a coil harness assembly off the internet, got it from Amazon, one of the cheaper ones, and kind of took the sheathing, the outside sheathing off of it and was looking at the wires because I thought I might have to, you know, kind of shorten some of the wires and it was horrible. So I put it back in the package and I sent it back. So I ordered another one today and so it'll be a few days before I start doing that. But um, for right now, intake air temp sensor. So that's where I'm heading and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did is got the little micrometer out, got my grommet right here on the sensor, and so I'm just going to measure this and see what I can get out of it. So just to try to get an idea of what size hole I need, I'm going to try to keep it snug. So 0.669, and I'll just lock that in there. And that's fairly snug. So maybe I'll go just a hair tighter. There we go. I can always drill it bigger. So we'll go to 659. And then I'll see if I can find a drill bit that's about that size. So, should be somewhere, somewhere around 21, 30 seconds. I have a little chart, a little chart that I keep on my wall and it's got decimal to fraction equivalents. So I can kind of look up a 
decimal size and I can kind of look at what the fractional size of it is. So it really helps with like measuring something with a micrometer to get a, you know, a decently accurate idea of what it is and then being able to turn it into something close to a drill bit. So that's what I use. Uh, that's one of the little kind of helper things that I've got hanging on the wall in my garage here in front of my toolbox. So that helps me out a little bit. Let me look. I could have sworn I messed around with this a little bit a while back. So yeah, here's my step bit. So I really, realistically, want to probably take this thing right up here to the top, which that says 11 sixteenths. So I don't know what's up with my, I must be looking at my decimal to fraction wrong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mark that tube and then I'm gonna drill it out to 11 sixteenths. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. Got the tube out, took the air cleaner off, uh, got the, uh, pulled it out of the other side at the inlet to the turbo, got it out, got my mark kind of set up here. So I'll take a punch, just got it laid in my vise. Just got it laid in my vise, I opened up my vise laid a cloth in here, a shop rag in here, and just hit it a couple of times, just to put a nice little mark in there to get my drill started. And again, I've got my drill marked, took a Sharpie and marked it where I wanna drill, how deep, how deep I wanna drill into it. So, oh yeah, nice and sharp. Pretty bad when your bit won't even drill through aluminum. I think it's time to buy another step bit. Definitely. Most definitely. Hey, those are sharp. Uh oh. I think my battery is dying. Change out my battery. Give me a second. Have to throw that one on the charger. So, see what we can do with this one. See if this one's charged up. Keep rolling. Get up. So, there we go. Nice little mess made. And I don't think that's going to fit. I think I'm going to have to go one more. I think I'm going to have to go one more size. That's where I had it marked. And there we go. So we'll call that the size we need. And I'll get the little reamer tool they call this a reamer and you can buy these on amazon and i think they have have a really hardened edge on them and all you do is you just take them and you just run them around the hole and i don't know if you guys can see it but it really cleans up the edges you can run it around on the inside and then run it around on the outside and it really really kind of softens the edges and just takes any takes anything away um oops and there's still 
a little piece hanging in there. So you definitely want to get all of these out. You don't want to leave any of those in anywhere. So I'll see if I can't get me a couple more, a couple more little rounds inside and get all those out. You, you definitely don't want to leave anything inside of there. I don't want to pull a little piece of aluminum through the system if I don't really have to. So you can look in there, fairly clean. Um, I've got a little bit of a lip, little tiny bit of an edge lip. Um, maybe a little piece of sandpaper. Keep a lot of these around, just laying around just for exactly this. And you're not gonna see this. Yep, that one's that one's a little bit more. How about this? I don't know what grit this is, but yep, definitely, definitely a little bit better. Definitely a little better. So yeah, this is on the inside of the pipe, so you're really not gonna see that I messed this all up. I could not believe in any way in life that this would mess up the airflow and cause problems. So I would rather get everything out of there so that my grommet has a nice little nice little place to sit nice and smooth so I don't cut my grommet don't want to do that either see how it's cutting the sandpaper I mean it's got a little little bit of a little bit of a, an edge on it still left on it so just run this back and forth a few times just trying to clean this up the best that I can then pop this in there that fits in there fairly nice little bit of movement little bit of room but what I was trying to do is leave a little bit of room because this sensor is also a little bigger than this grommet and it's gonna squeeze that grommet out so there is my IAT sensor in and I think that'll be good. I don't think I'll have any issues with that. The grommet moves around a little bit, but I don't believe unless my air cleaner gets really dirty that it's gonna let it suck any air in there. So, made a nice mess. Made a nice mess on my pipe. I got a little bit of overspray on it, black overspray. So, and again, I talk about it all the time. This is not a show car. So, put this back together and just slide this right back into the air cleaner where I made my little mark here, let this thing bottom out, and then I'll tighten up this clamp, and then I'll put it back in, and I'll be right back. All right, so got it back in, just put the hose clamps back on, and there you go. There is where my IAT, or intake air temp sensor, is going to live now. And like I said, that's right in between my air cleaner, right in between the air cleaner on the front of the car and the inlet to the turbocharger, the cold side of the turbocharger. So once I get my wiring harness put in, I will look at how I'm gonna run the wire. I thought maybe I would even take it in the middle, come underneath here and then just run right along this, Maybe put uh, you know a little clamp or something and just run it right along here and then run it to the sensor. So that's about all I got. Nice little job. Took a few minutes, but definitely something that I had to do. Thanks. You guys all have a great day.